still still. Yeah! Well, it works. Let's find our meteor gauge UI. Open that up. Um, so we don't see any in there now because we are dynamically adding them one by one. But the code should be there. Uh, so we set bars. First, we just set some things. And then we wire up. Let's just let's label this. So we're probably going to need, I mean, we definitely are going to need a decremented one. But we're going to focus on this. Um, so this isn't going to change. We're always going to be binding to when it's incremented. But when this gets fired off, it's going to change. So when does this currently get fired off? Um, fast way is to just go up here and search. So call meteor gauge incremented. So right now we're doing it in this function, <laughs> add to meteor gauge. Um, which Let's see where it's being called. It's being called whenever we score. This is just what I said. So it's just finding it in this bunch of blueprints. Now what we want to do is remove this. Um, we want to not put it here. And we probably just want to put this back the way it was. We don't need to sequence. What we want to do is it's going to, it's going to be attributed to, it's going to be managed by the fire gauge. So let's see. Increment fire gauge value. So if target is reached, set back to zero. So basically, when the fire gauge is filled, and we already know when it's filled because at some point we set, we, we, we make it pulse. We make it pulse green. Um, so where does that happen? Um, pause the fire gauge. Increment fire gauge value. All right, this is the game mode that controls it. It's going to be in Fire Gauge itself. So let's look at the Fire Gauge, Fire Gauge Widget Blueprint. There, this is the Fire Gauge. Um, so in the code here, here, so when it's, this block here manages when it's filled. So it pulses green when it's filled. So we could probably, okay, call fire gauge filled. All right, so we do have an event called fire gauge filled. Awesome. So let's look for that. What is reacting to this right now? I don't know. Let's see. Here, we're binding to it. So, okay, so we dispatch a feat when. It's blinky red and then blinky full gauge. Okay, so this is like, oh, comeback. So it, cool. I get it. So now there's a feat or an achievement that I made. So if we ever, if it's ever blinking red, which means you're about to die, and then you get it filled all the way up again, you, you get extra points, extra tickets. So, um, we also. We want to bind to this. All right, all right. Fire gauge filled. Perfect. So let's go back to our game mode event graph. And let's add another bind here. We want to bind to filled. So we're going to need the fire gauge itself. Is this, is this how I want to do it? Fire gauge value. 
up to a thousand. So really, what I wish I had is an event that was fired in here because the source of truth is this game mode, not the widget. And when we add to the fire gauge, fire gauge update, how does that work? Um, increment fire gauge. Right, so all we're doing is updating values in here. But in the fire gauge, okay, okay, what? All right, see, I was thinking that this fire gauge filled dispatcher is part of the UI, but it's not. It's actually part of this game mode. So why is it not buying? Maybe I'm just. Maybe. Maybe I need to find a dispatcher in here. I'm talking to the camera, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Arcade hoops game mode. Hi, Munchkin. How's your school going today? Are you learning a lot? It took me short. It was short today? Oh, boy. Bind to fire gauge fill. This is what I want to bind to. Where did I create it? Let's see. Fire gauge fill. Arcade hoops game mode. Fire gauge filled. Make sure you get memers out of here. Here, take memers. Say bye, memers. Here, okay. We'll take memers out, okay? God. All right, here, pick up memers and get her out. And you go upstairs, say hi to mommy, okay? And make sure my door is shut. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ah, uh, all right. So I'm trying to figure out why I can't bind to this event. I feel like it should. So let's just try it and see what it yells about. Uh, we need to... What is going on here? There we go. Custom event. Gauge is filled. And we need to fire off the add to meteor gauge. Okay. So this event will take, you know, we could just say when it's 100. 
but it's gonna if it lands at a hundred percent, um, it doesn't count as hitting again until it dips below a hundred and then back up to a hundred. Uh, so let's see if it yells at us. Yes. Arcade hoops, arcade hoops game mode, but it, oh, that's it. Arcade hoops game mode player state. So I need to get the game mode itself. Got it. Okay. So do we have that stored? It looks like we don't. Game mode. We can get the game mode. We could cast it to arcade hoops game mode. And we could promote to variable. Call this game mode. We cannot. It's already in use. Where is it in use? I don't see it. Mm. Arcade Hoops game mode. And now... Oh, you know what? It's in the parent. Right? Game mode. Is there a variable? Yes. Oh my god. All right. Err. Uh, what am I doing? I want to delete that. We're going to set We're going to set this and uh, we need to do this first. Can I have another sequence? Is this bad? Is this bad? This is probably stupid. I'm going to do it anyway. Just so we have sequence one. Which is set bars. Then sequence two, which is all the rest of the stuff. It's probably terrible. But now. This should work. Okay. Now I guess now we'll see if it works. I don't know how long it's going to take to see if this works because. I'm not really good at my own game, at least with the mouse. It's really hard. All right, we get it starts out filled. That's why. So I guess that's a good test. But oh my gosh! Yeah, this is not gonna happen with. Me. So, the reason we're getting one is because the gauge starts out filled, which we probably don't want to do. And it should be hard. I mean, that's the point. I think it's a little easier with my finger. <laughs> uh, I got an idea. If we really want to test it, which I think it's working, but what we can do is screw with this gauge to make it initialize not filled and then not drop. So let's see, how do we, how could we do that? Um, 
let's see, fill percent. The default is one. Let's make it 0.95. Let's see if it starts not filled now. Yeah, so it starts not filled. Now, if we can make the drop rate zero, uh, let's see. How do I set the drop rate? I believe. Actually, why? Okay, so the source of truth, again, is not in the fire gauge. It should be in the player state. So fire gauge value, 1,000. What if we made it? No, we need the max value. Fire gauge max value, 2,000. Huh. And the fire gauge value is 1,000. Let's see. So what I do is I set the value to max value when I start it. Right, so max value is 1,000. This is irrelevant then. So I could make this zero and it would still, right. So what I need to do is I want to set it to not max value. I want to set it to max value minus, I should do some percent, but let's just minus 10. So now it should start not filled. It did not. I'll do it with some percent. Multiply by a float. So it should start half filled now. Yes. All right. So that's basically what it's doing. So now I want to start it 0.95 filled. Nope. Didn't work. It truncated it. Is that the problem here? Nope. Still looks like it started filled. Hmm. Why is it starting out with a ball? It, uh, my theory is that it's just when it's green, which is not good enough. See, it's yellow still. Let's make it 1800. Yeah. So it's counting as filled when it's green. But I don't want that. I don't want it filled when it's green. I want it when it's. I want it when it's totally filled. So here I'm saying if it's a green pulse, if 
Here's my pulse check. I might want to add a new. Upper range pulse check. So that is the problem. So green pulse. That's what the difference is. I want this to be one and one. So it only pulses when it's one. And here, Point nine nine. Why not? No, but yep, one is good. So if it's real, real filled, it'll blink. But if it's point nine nine down to point eight, it'll be green. Great, that's what I want. So now when I press play, we don't have that ball there. Perfect. So what I want to do is test that when I get a shot, I want to test that when I make a shot now, it gives me a meteor ball and it's filled. So real quick, let me go to this, let me go to this gauge and where do I have this set? So what I want to do is, All right, this is a no, no, no. I don't want to forget. <laughs> um, I want to see if I can slow down the drop rate. Tick rate is 0.1. Total drop time, 15 seconds. Let's, instead of 15 seconds, let's make it 15,000 seconds. Now it's going to take a real long time to drop. All right, now. Ooh, it's not pulsing. You know what the problem is? It's probably not exactly 1.0. Maybe it's like, I don't know. Uh. Hey. Okay. Let's try that again. God. Nope, it's not going to work. So let's go to this update. Maybe this has got to be, maybe it does have to be like 0 0.99. And maybe it's got to, maybe it's got to be a little bit above too. I don't know. I feel like this is a floating point issue here. There we go. Now it works. Now it's filled. 
but it's not dropping. So it's not going to toggle to, you know, it's not going to. But see, I think I do. I want it to make another. So basically, it's if it's if it starts blinking, I want to I want to get a ball. But also, if I make a shot while it's blinking, I want a ball. So that's really another case that I need to capture. But this is this so far is good. That is what I want. Um, and what I also want to do is fire off that ad meteor when, um, okay, I think I know how to do it. So look here. So engage is filled. This is really a misnomer. This is... Gauge. Um, gone from not filled to filled. Okay, so that's when I want to add to it. I also want to bind to nope i want to piggyback off of this one if i scored i add the fire gauge and if um Package is empty. This is a good little snippet of stuff. Maybe I should turn this into a macro. No. No. That's good enough. Take that. Go to my event graph. And now, if the fire gauge is active, and I just scored, and it is greater than 0.99, oh, this... Gauge value, it's going to be a max value. Fire gauge. Equals. Really, I, I want to check if it's pulsing. Eh. There, so let's test it out. So it's not filled. I'm going to make it filled. Uh, oh. <laughs> Alright, now I want to get another one while it's still filled. Yeah! Up to a max of three.
Well, it works. It works. Good enough. So, all right. Let us, real quick. I don't do this on video, um, but this is what I do every time. So, I'm going to go into my ball lord. I'm going to... out my branch this is episode 19 awesome so uh, thank you lots, guys, for tuning in, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.